You're listening to WCAT Radio, your home for authentic Catholic programming. Welcome, everybody, to Reclaim Catholic. This is a special edition of the show and something I intend to begin doing. Regular recordings of great homilies of our patrimony. I thought no better time to begin this than the Easter season and no better person to begin it with than the golden tongue himself, St. John Chrysostom. He's famous for a great many homilies, and perhaps one of his most famous is his Easter homily. In future episodes of the actual show, I'll get into who St. John Chrysostom is, and more about what this particular venture is, and why I want to read homilies of the great saints of old. For now, let it suffice for this Easter season to simply revel in the words of the great St. John Chrysostom. Let all pious men and lovers of God rejoice in the splendor of this feast. Let the wise servants blissfully enter into the joy of their Lord. Let those who have borne the burden of Lent now receive their pay, and those who have toiled since the first hour, let them now receive their due reward. Let any who come after the third hour be grateful to join in the feast. And those who may have come after the sixth, let them not be afraid of being too late. For the Lord is gracious, and he receives the last even as the first. He gives rest to him who comes on the eleventh hour, as well as to him who has toiled since the first. Yes, he has pity on the last, and he serves the first. He rewards the one and praises the effort. Come, you all. Enter into the joy of your Lord, you the first and you the last. Receive alike your reward. You rich and you poor, dance together. You sober and you weaklings, celebrate the day. You who have kept the fast and you who have not, rejoice today. The table is richly loaded. Enjoy its royal banquet. The calf is a fatted one. Let no one go away hungry. All of you enjoy the banquet of faith. All of you receive the riches of his goodness. Let no one grieve over his poverty, for the universal kingdom has been revealed. Let no one weep over his sins, for pardon has shone from the grave. Let no one fear death, for the death of our Savior has set us free. He has destroyed it by enduring it. He has despoiled Hades by going down into its kingdom. He has angered it by allowing it to taste of his flesh. When Isaiah foresaw all this, he cried out, O hell, you have been angered by encountering him in the netherworld. Hell is angered because frustrated. It is angered because it has been mocked. It is angered because it has been destroyed. It is angered because it has been reduced to naught, it has been angered, because it is now captive. It seized a body, and lo, it encountered heaven. It seized the visible, and was overcome by the invisible. O death, where is your sting? O hell, where is your victory? Christ is risen, and you are abolished. Christ is risen, and the demons are cast down. Christ is risen, and the angels rejoice. Christ is risen, and life is freed. Christ is risen, and the tomb is emptied of its dead. For Christ, being risen from the dead, has become the leader and the reviver 
of those who had fallen asleep. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. God's beloved, I'm Annabelle Mosley, author, professor of theology, and host of Then Sings My Soul and Destination Sainthood on WCAT Radio. I invite you to listen in and find inspiration along this sacred journey we're traveling together to make our lives a masterpiece and, with God's grace, become saints. Join me, Annabelle Mosley, for Then Sings My Soul and Destination Sainthood on WCAT Radio. God bless you. Remember, you're never alone. God is always with you. Thank you for listening to a production of WCAT Radio. Please join us in our mission of evangelization. And don't forget, love lifts up where knowledge takes flight.